today I'm going to be working on this. This dude is my all-time favorite coffee mug from Black Rifle Coffee and uh, I use it tons. I've had it a couple of years and the problem here is that my liquid synaptic lubrication dispenser's handle uh, is corroding. It's about ready to fall off and I don't know what it is about the water here in the Detroit metro area that's so hyper corrosive, but uh, whatever the base metal is under that chrome, uh, it's just falling the hell off. Can you see this? And no matter how much you tighten these screws up, that thing's going to fall off. So I'm in my truck on my way to work and I got that sucker jammed in the old cup holder. Last thing I need that thing to do is to spill all that coffee out on my floor. So we got to fix this shit today. They got the, the old kerosene heater. Not only is this a kick-ass coffee mug that I love, uh, and I'm going to use it until it falls the hell apart, but it also serves as a French press. So you can put your coffee, uh, you can fresh grind it, stick it straight in there, and then you can use this lid as a French press and drink it straight out of the mug. So all you need is hot water and coffee grounds. You can have coffee anywhere. Then it's got a nice travel lid that comes apart. The, uh, the gasket on the side of it comes off so you can clean the whole damn thing and get a bunch of crap caught underneath there. But this handle is a problem. At the hardware store, it got a freaking utility pole handle, like a, a barn door handle. I'm gonna cut this thing up and I'm gonna weld it onto this biatch right here. And I'll never have to worry about this handle coming off. And we're also going to man up the old uh, Black Rifle coffee bug because it looks cool and all, but uh, after I weld it, it's going to get wrecked right there where it's already corroding. So, might as well have some fun with it. What do you do when it's broken? Fix it with fire! Alrighty, so, that's what we got under here. Got a couple of tabs. And uh, you can see where that dude was corroding. Because we're going to hot rod this sucker. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lose these tabs here. Oh, actually, I was right. Check that out. Got weld broken on a couple of these little spot welds broken. So that dude would have fell off on its own. Let's prep it. <laughs> Yoink this little O-ring off here, which I'm sure is just there for butte. But uh, when I'm done, it's going to look butabulous. Did I mention it was cold? <laughs> I can't hardly feel my friggin' fingers, man. Kerosene heaters is not hacking it at the old wrench ranch. Need more heat. Yeah, there. All right. So, what's going on? What's going down here is I'm gonna grind these off, grind it down to the bare steel. And I'm welding that sucker right on there. And then I also got to cut this and then put a radius on it because I don't need, you know, I just want it to be the hook uh, portion of the handle because uh, two reasons, I don't need the bottom part. But if it's just the hook there, then I can hook it onto a place on my truck because it's too big. It's too large and manly of a coffee cup to fit in the puny crappy cup holders in my Ford Explorer. So, this has to all get modified. Who knew that the wrench ranch was a coffee mug speed shop? Let's get, back, get them dudes off with a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> Shit. Well, I gotta say, it's a good thing I did this because that was way too easy to break off. I guess some corrosion got down in there, but it was barely spot welded on, so that was a disaster waiting to happen. Alrighty, let's flapper disc this biatch up. I cleaned up the metal pretty quickly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that all over it. Let's make it look pretty.
gets enough for that for now. It's a 120 grit wheel uh, on the angle grinder and I'm not putting any pressure on it <clears throat> so it just blows the paint off of there. Time to cut. Some hot metal. <laughs> All right, changing wheels. It's about time to go throw some sparks. Yeah, that makes a good handle. <laughs> there we go. That's looking more like it. Let's pull off the screw tension. Get this dude back where I had him. <clears throat> Patience. You rock a discipline. I'm losing my mind. What do you say we get the welder going? I think that's good enough. Should hold it. Alrighty. Won't need these for a while. First things first. <laughs> get my hat on backwards. My welding hat will fit my big fat noggin. Safety first, kiddies. Don't want to permanently Boy, this is cold. <laughs> it's been sitting in the garage for a while. Wouldn't want to permanently maim myself while I'm modifying my my coffee mug. Oh, why is my head so fat? Let's get to welding. <laughs> Drawing curly cues. Cool, I kind of like the slag that is splattered all over it. Yes, I know how to weld properly, um, which was the first two welds on there, considering. Mild steel, stainless steel. Let me shut that off because I think I'm pretty much done making this look as ugly as possible. <clears throat> I mean, battle damaged. <laughs> so, I think that's the look I'm going for. Now, once again, I need to fix it with fire. Um, I've got lots of good heat warp distortion on there. Didn't burn through on the inside, which was my main objective, since it's got a whole friggin' coffee. Uh, and I knew it was going to be a botched job because I'm going for a patinaed look. There. Clean my welder up. It needs more fixing with fire. I think maybe I'll go over it with the grinder one more time just to kind of hit some highlights plus I want to grind some of that crap off. That's my coffee mug, damn it. Love it! Just needs some... I don't know. I don't have a plan for this. <laughs> I started out with uh, the intention of turning this into an art project. So... I'm throwing all kinds of crap at it and see what I like. Just adding to the character here a little bit. Knock some of the gloss off the paint with the scotch bright. I want it to look like it's got battle damage. 
Like it took a law rocket or a RPG into it. This is mild steel. That's stainless. This is very thin. This is, I mean, look how thick that is. I mean, I ain't coming off. I didn't blow a hole through it. I just leak tested it. <laughs> so, my plan of attack has worked. I gotta just finish the patina process. Now when I'm at work, some asshole tries to steal my damn coffee mug. There's not gonna be any question whose coffee mug this is. Who the hell else would have this <laughs> coffee mug? Except for me, because I like this crazy stuff. I'm hoping in the future that Melly and I can do some yard art. That would be kind of cool. Weld up like a big scarecrow. There's a guy down the street who's got a giant T-Rex he made up out of out of metal. That thing is a riot. His neighbors probably hate his guts, but I love it. I could probably park my truck on it and that weld won't come off. It'll just bend this freaking this coffee mug. But check that out. I mean that is a good strong handle. And it's wide enough here that it'll fit into I've got a spot on my truck's console where I, I put the coffee mug down like that, kind of hook it into the handle. I went over it with a grinder to kind of try and hit some highlights on there. <laughs> I love it. So I got to go inside and wash it up real good. Probably use like one of those, uh, those Mr. Clean uh, magic eraser sponges because that, uh, that melamine sponge will get in there and it'll, any residue from welding or any of that crap, it'll take it right off, clean it right down to the stainless. That is badassery. It's worthy of the coffee that I'm going to throw back in this sucker. Some good old BRCCCAF. I can fill it up with my favorite synaptic lubrication, Black Rifle Coffee. Good stuff. Later.